Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I am super duper excited for today's video and I know I say that quite a bit on my channel but that's because I'm genuinely excited to be talking to you guys and filming videos. But as far as today's video is concerned, it is extra special and I'm extra excited because first time in the history of my channel, I'm going to be doing double unboxing and it's going to be my first time filming my Valentine's Day present. So it's indeed very, very special and that's why I've gotten this Valentine's Day like a pink theme going on. I'm wearing my pink top with a pink watch, pink lips. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be unboxing from a pink bag as well. So yes, that's right. This unboxing is going to be from Kate Spade. And I honestly love Kate Spade. I have so many bags from them. And I, I, I just love Kate Spade. And it's funny because I've never really talked about them or any of the Kate Spade bags here on my channel. So this video is going to be very, very special. And I'm very excited because I think you guys are going to really love both the bags or both the items that I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's jump on to unboxing. But I just want to quickly, quickly say that please do follow me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle up here on the screen for you guys. So follow me there. Also be sure to hit the bell icon down below as well as the big fat subscribe button. And while you're down there, please, please give this video a big, big thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it and I'm talking really fast because I'm genuinely very excited for this unboxing and I really can hardly wait. So without further ado, let's just jump on to unboxing right away. Starting with the smaller of the two items and mind you, I did say unboxing but it's not really an unboxing. With Kate Spade, they just put all your stuff into the bag so it's really like an unbagging of the two items that I'm going to show you. But the first item, the smaller of the two items that I'm going to unbag is this cute little card holder from Kate Spade. And I will bring it up close so you guys can see. But this is basically their simple card holder. It's got this mm, kind of like um, Kate Spade logo up here and then it has the flowering details all around it in the front as well as in the back. And this card holder is really nice because it's got seven card slots, which is quite a bit. So it's got three in the front over here, and then it's got three in the back, and then it's got one more in the top here. So this is actually my very first card holder. I don't have, or I don't own any other card holders at all. And I was eyeing this Louis Vuitton card holder. I will leave like a picture up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But I was basically eyeing that card holder, but just because I don't own any card holders and I usually have a lot of things to carry with me, including like cards and cash and even coins. So first I wanted to try out and see how I hold up to a card holder. And then if I like it, then I can, you know, buy another more expensive one. But basically that's the card holder. And then in the top here, I think it's got um, the care booklet. And then it's also got a little, like a tag, tag for the card holder. So I'll bring it up close in case you guys are interested, you can look it up. But that's basically the card holder. And yeah, it's very, very pretty. I think it's a very pretty design. And then I really like this kind of Kate Spade logo as well. I don't like the hot stamped logo. I personally like the ones that's like sticking out. So this is perfect and I really, really love it. Now moving on to the second item for today. This is the item that I'm most excited about and I've been waiting and dying to show you guys. And drum roll please, this is none other than Ta-da! The hardback from Kate Spade, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is a true beauty. Can we just take a moment and just appreciate how gorgeous, how beautiful, how feminine this bag is. Um, oh gosh, it's just, oh, I love this bag. It's just so cute, so feminine, and I just really love it. And before I talk more about the bag, let me just bring it up close so you guys can really see and have a good look at what the bag looks like. So here's the bag up close, you guys. It's got Kate Spade New York written in the front here. And it's not an embossed logo, which I really like. I don't really like the embossed logo, um, but this is really nice. So that's basically the bag in the front. This is the side. This is basically the bottom and it's nice because it's got a good depth to it. And then here we are on the back. 
And then I'm gonna quickly also show you the tag for this bag in case you guys are interested in purchasing it. So here's the tag up close. Hopefully the camera zooms in just fine. Um, but I really wanna show you in case you wanna search this bag up. But basically I think this is called the heart bag. So this is the bag and up in the top is, this is how it looks like. It's got two zippers and both the zippers are very, very smooth, which is something that I really, really like. And on the inside, that's what it looks like. So in the back here, there is a Kate Spade logo. And then it, on the other side is you have three card slots. So there is that. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to bring it close so you guys can have a good look at it. And then the bottom sticker is just, it just says made in Vietnam in case you guys are interested in where it's made. But that's basically the bag in the nutshell. And then in the top here, the handle is uh, uh, kind of stationary. It doesn't move. And that's really nice because I like it standing up like this. And then the strap, it attaches on over here on the both sides. So they're both removable. And what's nice is that the strap is also adjustable. So it's got six holes all together, um, seven actually. And it's really nice because you can adjust it that way. So it's very, very pretty. And the strap is not that thin. I guess it's kind of thin, but not that thick either. So it's very nice. Um, and yeah, that's basically the bag in the nutshell. So let's talk about the bag now because I'm sure you guys are wondering how I got my hands on it because it is indeed a very, very hard to find piece. So as I hear this bag actually initially went viral on TikTok and that's how it became really, really famous. Now I am not on TikTok at all and I don't even have an account. So I've never, like, I don't know. I've not discovered this bag through TikTok at all, but basically I'm subscribed to their emails. So I got an email from Kate Spade saying, oh, like your hard bags are out now, get yours before it's sold out or something like that. And then I looked at it and I was like, wow, that looks really cute. So then I ended up calling the outlet near me. So this is actually an outlet bag and so is the card holder that I showed you earlier. But it's really nice because it doesn't look like, like the quality and the craftsmanship doesn't look like it's an outlet bag which is amazing, but basically, so um, yeah, so I found out about the bag through the email and then I called up an outlet close to me and I said, do you guys have this bag? And the lady on the other line, she's like, oh yeah, we have it, we just have last two left. And I was like, okay, can you just put one of them on hold for me? And she's like, sure. So she put it on hold for me and then that was earlier in the day, like around nine, like 10-ish, something like that. And then I was thinking if I want to like go there and see this bag and purchase it also because I was eyeing the Louis Vuitton hard bag for a really long time. I'll insert a picture up here in case you guys are wondering what I'm talking about. But basically I loved that bag and it came out and it sold out like right away. I didn't get to see the bag even when I went to the store a couple of times. So I really wanted that bag. Um, and yeah, basically <laughs> I didn't get to even see the bag. So I was like, you know, let me just go to the store and see it. So basically I went in and as soon as she brought this bag out i was in love it was so cute so nice i just love the color and yeah i didn't even it was wrapped up in a plastic and i honestly didn't even open the plastic i didn't even see the bag i just bought it like that's how much i liked it usually when i buy a bag i open it i check it thoroughly i inspect it i try it on you know just to see how it looks and everything but this bag i think this was the only bag in all the bags history history of all the bags that i have that I just bought it just by looking at it. That's how much I loved it. But yeah, so that's basically a story on how I got it. If you're interested in getting this bag, then I would encourage you to call up your, um, like a store, like an outlet store close to you and just see if they have it. Um, if they have it, you can do exactly what I did. You can put it on hold and then go and get it. But I know that they end up, if they can in some cases ship it to you too. So ask them if they can ship it. And then one of the other things is that they are starting to now have like a waiting list for this bag. Yes, that's how famous this bag is. But they basically have a waiting list for this bag too. So if you're interested, then definitely ask them about the wait list and have your names uh, put into it. So I'll quickly just throw some things in just to show you how much this bag holds. 
So there is the bag empty right now and I'm gonna start off with my wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. So that goes in there, no problem at all. I also have my key clay, Louis Vuitton key clay. So that I'm also adding in there. And then I have my oil absorbing sheets, which I'm gonna slide in there. And then also a comb. I always have this comb with me. So that also goes in there. And that's what it looks like so far. And then I have my compact, Clinique compact. So that is also in there. And then I have my giant, like a hand lotion, which I think will also fit in there. So it's definitely starting to get like fairly full now and I'll show you what that looks like so far. So there's that, it's kind of falling out because I'm tilting the bag, but it's really not um, like falling out or anything. And then I have my sanitizer, of course, very, very important. So that goes in there. And then last two things I have is my lip products. So I have two lip products here, which I'm gonna slide in there. So that's basically what the bag looks like in a nutshell. And I put these items in there because these are the things that I usually carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm running errands, when I'm doing grocery shopping or if I'm picking up food or anything like that. So that's basically it. And everything is in there so nicely. There's no bulging or anything like that. So that's amazing. I really, really like that. And one of the things I do want to mention about this bag is that this is a very structured bag, as you can hear if you can hear me tapping on the leather, but this is a very, very structured bag. So it's very nice. And um, I think because of that, it doesn't really expand that much, even when you try to like pull the zipper, like when you have the zipper open and you're trying to get into the bag, it doesn't open as much. And um, I think that's totally okay because like I said, this is not a, everyday bag this is more like an occasional bag so it's okay it's not a big deal but as you saw this bag holds quite a bit it does look small i mean i don't even think it looks that small but it definitely holds quite a bit and it's just really amazing and it doesn't stand up straight just like this it stands like that which is totally fine because either way it looks super duper cute and yeah i just love the color of it i love the baby pink i don't really have any other color um, like, you know, a bag in this color. So it's just perfect. And um, yeah, I think I prefer this much, much more over one of the other red um, hard bags that they have. So I'll insert a picture up here in case you guys are interested in knowing what I'm referring to. But basically I liked that red hard bag too. But the only thing is that I would much rather prefer a baby pink over red because red is, I feel like it sometimes is really overpowering and it's hard to style. Whereas this one, it's kind of like a pink, it's very light pink. So it's just perfect, goes on with a lot of outfits. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I am so excited to be sharing my beautiful and very first hard bag with all of you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all of your support. Please, please give this video a big, big thumbs up and support my channel. Also do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And also hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, other than that, that really does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you guys now in my next video. I really can't wait. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.